from the start button, I want you to type a percent, the word app data, and a percent. And that will open up your app data folder. I'm on a different monitor. I'm going to slide that over here. All right, in here we're going to find the Microsoft folder, then Windows, then Startup, Start Menu, excuse me, and Programs. And finally, Startup <laughs> again. That's the startup I was looking for the first time. Okay, so in here we're going to create a batch file. You see I've got one started right here for this tutorial. Uh, I'm just You just do a right click in a new and text document and then rename it bat file when you're done. We're going to right click on that and choose edit. Once again that opens up in a separate monitor and that gives us a blank space where we can record some information. But Before we do that we're going to go to the uh, command prompt by clicking your start button and CMD. And we first got to list the VMs that we have available to us. And I'm going to paste that in here. To do that, you're going to run this command. Just type it in exactly as you see it, followed by list VMS to list your VMs. It's going to show you a nice list of the virtual machines you have on your computer. Now I'm going to redo that same command armed with the names of some of these. I'm going to type in start KV, excuse me, VM, and pick the name of one of those up there. I'm going to type in uh, my web dev, which is uh, simply web dev server. And then I'm just going to put in type headless. Now, before I press that button, I'm going to open up my virtual machine environment so you can see what happens when I hit enter. Okay, that's this one right here that is currently powered off. Let's hit that enter key. And you see waiting for VM server to power on. And now it says starting over here. So you can see that DOS prompt kicks that thing into gear. So now we just need to put that same command, which is right here. And we're going to just come slide down here, edit, and we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste that right there. So that should start up the web dev server when your computer starts up. I'm going to save that. Close it out. Close that out. I'm going to shut this down and we're going to reboot this machine so you can see the effect. Okay, I'm now going to reboot this machine. We'll see what we get. And booting up. Okay, let's see if it worked. Coming in. Open up my virtual box. Not running. Wait a second, it's still doing stuff. Let's give it a moment. I haven't pressed anything yet. I've got a, oh, there it is right there. All right, not to disappoint. I've got lots of windows that open automatically. It's obviously a thing for me. <laughs> that stuff popping up all over the place. But this is one of them. And, yeah, we, <laughs> yes, I don't want to renew my trial. Thank you very much. I'll close that. And here we are. Web server running. I'll double click on that. Drag it down from my other window. You can see it's still currently booting. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.